from the, the, the playbook of the history of, ge of geopolitics. What'll happen? The United States decides we need to send astronauts to Mars one day, geopolitically, by whatever force is operating on us. And then NASA looks around and says, oh, you know, we don't have a rocket to do that. And then Elon says, I have a rocket, and rolls out his rocket to Mars. Then we ride a SpaceX rocket to Mars. That could easily happen. But I just want to make it clear, it's not a mission initiated by a private company. Because the money for that is not going to come from his earnings on anything else he does in space. It's going to come from taxpayers funding NASA's goals, inspired by the geopolitics of the world at that time. So I'm delighted to see that Elon at SpaceX has announced that in the coming years, they're going to send uncrewed rockets to Mars. These are vessels that are equipped to carry people, but you wouldn't send people first if you're still sort of getting the bugs out of the system. So a full round trip is several years. So I look forward to this and see how that unfolds. Those are definitely the first steps. By the way, the current American program to return to the moon, it's called Artemis, has three planned missions. The first was an uncrewed mission to the moon. It went to the moon and came back, splashed down in the, in the ocean, good. Second is a crewed mission to the moon, but not land yet. Third would be a crewed mission to the moon where you land, right? Incremental steps, just as Apollo had unfolded. That's one of the reasons why there were many Apollo missions. Each one was incrementally more ambitious than the previous one. So this is how space works. If you want to stay safe in the process, especially when it involves people, crew, astronauts, and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing what comes of that. Good luck, SpaceX.